We're with Gail Goddard, professional organizer and owner of the Clutter Ferry in Houston, Texas. Gail, what's your number one tip for making decisions about the things we keep for sentimental reasons? Sentimental stuff, it hangs up everybody. And the first thing that you have to do is decide that you don't have to keep 100% of whatever it is you're sentimental about. So I tell people to keep a representative sample. And what I mean by that is you want to keep the top 10%. You want to keep the one that has the most emotional attachment for you. Instead of keeping every piece of paper that your dad ever wrote his handwriting on, you want to keep the ones that have the best emotional bang for the buck. You want to keep the birthday cards where he actually wrote a note in them. And you want to toss out the little scribbled piece of paper that he wrote on. So in the end, you can keep the really big sentiment feeling, but keep less, keep a smaller, much smaller portion, a representative sample of all the things that you have. And that way you're storing stuff that feels really good, but you're not storing a huge volume. That's my tip for the day. Thanks, Gail. Where can our viewers find out more? You can watch for our full-length video that's going to be posted soon uh, through Rose Colored Glasses, Sentimentality and Clutter. It'll be an hour-long talk about that exact topic, how to deal with your sentimental keepsakes. Thank you very much. Bye.